Hello, hello, lads and gals. This is Load Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of East Nine Monstrum Knox. Okay, that is the one with the Aprilis. Alright, so I need to go to that one. So this is actually pretty close. Ooh. There's a landmark over there. Hmm, should I go and have a look at that landmark first? I mean, I guess I could. Or not, because it's blocked off. Uh, yeah, my dudes, I'm just gonna sort of ignore you. There he is. Uh, all right, I'm ready now. I'm gonna do it. I'm really gonna do it. And then Master will be forced to admit he was wrong. But it won't hurt to be extra, extra sure I'm ready. Oh, there he is. So this is Pots, huh? There'll be a lot less explaining if we were in our normal forms. Hey, you! What? what me? Who are you? You and the Monstrums explain the situation to the Leary Pots. I get it. Master sent you? Gosh, first you guys, and now he's involved. Master Berlin too. Has he got a shred of dignity left? Hm, no dignity, huh? Remind me. Who's the spoiled brat who abandoned ship over an argument with his master again? <laughs> Come back to the city with us. There are too many monsters around here. You wouldn't want... Your runaway exercise to turn into a runaway corpse recovery, would you? No, but I can't go back yet. Not until I've proven the value of this. Pots bring out a prototype shield. Ah, is this what you made without your master's approval? Yes, I wanted to make a shield that was as light as it was sturdy. If I could just prove that it worked against monsters... Then that Mollis master of mine will have no choice but accept my genius. <laughs> or maybe you're the one who won't accept that you're too scared to face him. You may have uh, left in a huff, but where's the... Uh, Gallantry now. You weren't watching me, were you? What do you expect? i never slain a beast before. I only planned up to this point, but now my stupid legs won't move. Hey. You guys look like a rough crowd. You probably killed monsters before. How about you test out my shield for me? You wish for us to be your test subjects? Exactly. 
makes perfect sense. I'm a craftsman, not a brute warrior like you guys. Sure, I could go beat up some monsters, but it would be better in your hands. I think I follow. Meh. You had me uh, beat up some monsters. It wouldn't hurt to give it a whirl. If we do, would you come back with us? It's a deal. You'd better not run away after a l Like you did with your master. You can trust me. Here, take it. One of you is going to have to equip it, then you need to kill 15 mushroom monsters in the plains. Supposedly, they explode after being offered. I figure that should demonstrate its agility. Okay, take it away. Let's just be done with this. Commence the experiment. Okay, so uh, does it keep count for me or This, uh, it is these planes, right? Nice that he has a shooting ability. Okay. 
Okay. Ah, oh, there is another mushroom. Okay. Let's see if I can find any more. More or less feel like I'm running out of mushrooms. Forge the shield with the goal of balancing durability and lightness. One of you need to equip it and then defeat 15 mushrooms in the plains. Supposedly they explode after... Yeah, yeah, no. But... I have it equipped though, don't I? Prototype shield. Oh, strength 30. Okay, how about I put it on Yufa? Okay, let's see if we can find any more of those mushrooms. There's one. Oh, a few of them. Yeah, I think it said that it was fulfilled there. So, uh, then we can return to him. You guys really did it. So, how was the shield? It ain't half bad. 
it was strong enough and it was lightweighted too. People will line up for this. That is if you can forge it on your own. I I see. That's all the testing I need for the day. We have fulfilled our end of the contract. You will return to the city as promised. A deal's a deal. Lead the way. Finally, I get to show Master what I that I was right all along. All of you return to Artisan Lane along with Pots. The Guildmaster awaits you. Ooh, we glad he's still in one piece. Thanks a million, kiddos. So, uh, the prodigy apprentice returns. Just thought I'd come back to prove you wrong, you old has been. So here it is, my masterpiece. Let's see you. Play your good for nothing. Print is Dan for taking a look at this. Hmm. Well, let's see about that. You uh, considerate little brat. Let's hand his prototype shield over to Master Markle. I'm impressed, Pots. Take some real nerve to strut on in turning this around as a masterpiece. Ugh. Hey, come on now. Still, it's light, sturdy, and easy to handle. You got the making of something here. But prototype or not, a piece like this is a gold a dozen amongst craftsmen. If you can't even understand that much. Sh shut up, you damn mouth. Shut your damn mouth. You'd never recognize me as a craftsman no matter what I do, will you? Why even keep me around? You have someone to pick on and do your chores? You talk about the old ways and traditions, but you can't even stand where I come from. Enough already. Don't go making assumptions, Pots. Being a craftsman is about one thing. Skill. No one's here judging you from for being an outsider from Rune. You want my recognition? You gotta earn it. Your skill just aren't there yet. So that's what he mean by outsider. The number of ruminers here did increase after Gilias annexation. It wasn't long after the war when you first knocked on my workshop door. At the time, most Gilians scorned Rubens as callous invaders behind their backs. But still, you insisted on following behind bumbling old me without a single grip. I'll admit I started to grow fond of you over the years. Yet in all your time, trending water with nothing to show, I never encouraged you even once. Master Markle? 
I understand your feelings, but the way I run my workshop is outdated. Suppose I just couldn't bring myself to take any criticism from an amateur. Until now, that is. Huh? Didn't you hear me? I said that this shield had the making of something. It's rough around the edges, sure. But a little elbow grease and it'll make a fine product. What makes it... What matters is that you finally produced something worth... Worthy of praise. You got a way to go before becoming a true craftsman. But that doesn't mean... I can't listen to you once in a while. M master First off, try tempering this shield again. A little refining should uh, writen it out. You want to put what you learned into practice. Here's your big chance. After that, you can uh, Rip about how it run. You can grip about how I run the place as much as you want. Y yes, master. Ah, oh, Pots, I'm happy for him. The hell do we always stick around for these mushy ass happy endings anyway? <laughs> It's like they always say, fair weather cometh after storm. Thanks again for your help, everyone. Afterwards, Pot told Adol and his friends to stay and wait. Following a short while, he then handed his refined creation over to them. Better shield received. Is this really the same shield from before? You have improved upon it considerably for such a short period of time. Yeah, it came together somehow. Or other. Thanks to Master Markle's advice. Of course it did. Like I keep saying, you've still got a long way to go. And it, old man, you made your point. Anyway, I've uh, obviously got a lot to learn before I become a true craftsman. So uh, I'll just have to keep busting my ass under master's instructions till I get there. Well, put this shield to good use. Looking forward to your next piece. Can't say I know when that'll be, but you can be sure I won't disappoint. And thanks again for everything. We'll know who to call upon next time something comes up. You're welcome. Alright, we did good. Alright, so with that, I think I'm going to end off this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.